reward you with the goals that were important six months or a year ago that you threw to the wayside because of life and you need to consider what is important to you. Are those goals still important or do you need new goals? All these things help inspire and are good to help us sort things out in our heads. Whoa, just got deep. <laughs> but the weekly YouTube video I have coming up, hi Susie, um, is that like, might actually help you with that. I am gonna do a journaling session for your creative projects and to realign yourself because of the pandemic. Um, so when you come to watch my weekly YouTube video this week, you need to bring your journal and some supplies because it's a practical session exactly for that reason exactly for that reason because we're getting a little bit wonky things are getting wonky because <laughs> the world is wonky and we need to make sure that we i mean we're all a little wonky let's face it i was going to say make sure that we're straight but we're all a little wonky <laughs> And that's a good thing. That's not a thing that we need to straighten out our kinks. We don't. But we need to make sure we have our own kinks and we aren't allowing the kinks of the world to make us wonky in ways that we don't want to be wont. <laughs> Hello, my loves. Welcome to a new video. I'm about to do a journaling session with you to get you clear on the what, when, how and why of your creative projects during the pandemic so if you have got enough track with your art with your projects then I want you to go and grab a pen and some paper right now or your journal whatever I know from hearing from you that many of us have got enough track in this time which is understandable shizzles going down <laughs> but um, I want to make sure that you guys are focused on what is actually important to you regardless of the external so yeah shizzle is going down but we can't help that all we can do is do what we can do in reference to that but what we can do what we do have control over is making sure it doesn't stop us from doing what is important to us so go grab your stuff pause the video if you must and come back and we're going to get straight into it Okay, so how this is gonna work is I am going to give you something to journal on for a minute, and then I will give you that minute to fill it out before we head on to the next one so that we get clearer and clearer and clearer about not only what it is uh, we wanna do, but also prioritize what we wanna do because as creatives, we can do or want to do a million things. Um, and there's only so much time we can do certain things, particularly now. Um, I mean, it's different for everybody. Some people seem to have more time on their hands, but more time doesn't necessarily mean you get more creative projects done. Am I right? So we are going to prioritize what really is important for us each to work on right now. Okay, so number one, what I want you to write about is what was the things that were important for you to create before the pandemic? Can be one thing, can be many things. What were you focused on before? the pandemic. I'll give you a minute to journal that out and you can do it however you want. You can write it, you can list it, bullet point it, you can sketch it, do whatever, um, but just do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, next is, what do you want to do right now? Has it shifted? Has it not? For many of us creatives, I think it has. Um, we are creating things in response to the coronavirus, such as this video I would never have created were it not for the coronavirus and many other projects I'm working on. Um, but also things that people are doing with their kids and etc, etc, etc. What is it that you are creatively working on right now in the midst of this pandemic? Journal about that for a minute. Right now, look at the two things that we've journaled on already. Analyze them, contrast them, are they the same, are they different, whatever. And look at what project amongst all of that takes priority and why, why? If you don't answer the why part, you won't actually answer what takes priority because we can look at things and think that takes priority, but we're thinking with our heads. But when you answer why, you look at your heart. What's your real reason why you want to do something? Because if you don't have a heart behind your creative project, then they often aren't going to get done. Because, you know, there isn't any reason to. You need a good enough reason. You need a why. Which I talk about in my creative goal journaling class. Because that's the fuel that is going to get you through the project. So I don't want you starting projects that you aren't going to finish. I want you to start a project or continue with a project that you are going to finish because your heart and soul is behind that project. So what are you going to prioritize out of your projects and why? Now, if you're somebody who's only journal one project this whole time, then you are golden. <laughs> you're focused. You know what your project is that you want to be doing and you know you, you've got your priority down but I also want you to fill out the why of it because the more you can reinforce it the stronger it becomes and then the more your actions and inspiration and motivation go in alignment with that okay it's all worth it it's all reinforcing okay so I'll give you a minute on that what is the project that now takes priority and why
Right, now we are going to look at the how. We've been through the what's and the why's. Now we're looking at the how. How are you going to do this? What do you need to do this? What do you need to get this project done? What support do you need? What tools do you need? What time do you need? Etc. Yay, we're getting clearer. Well done. You're not going to like me for this next bit though because I'm going to I'm going to tell you to schedule it when. This is the final bit. When? When are you going to get this done? Put it in your diary if you have one. If you don't have one, still give yourself a deadline. Write it on a piece of paper, stick it on your wall, on your fridge somewhere where you'll look at it every day. Or another way of doing this is deciding that you're going to give a certain amount of time each day to this project or each week to this project. When? Is it going to be Sunday afternoons? If it's a weekly thing, is it going to be a, a, an hour in the morning if it's a daily thing? When are you going to do it? Journal it out now. Okay, I'm so proud of you guys for doing this. You're done. Hopefully you have got some solid information and motivation out of this process. The last thing I would like you to just journal is a sentence, is an affirmation, is whatever you want to do, a piece of art, whatever, that basically states, I am committed. I am committed to doing this project until completion. I'm going to give myself the time, the tools and the energy to get this done. I hope this has been useful to you. If it has, uh, then you can find me at Journal Workshops. I have put all classes on Journal Workshops on mates rates. As soon as the pandemic hit, I slashed all the prices of my classes for you guys that need it, including some free classes on there as well if you want to check those out. 
But specifically, if you want help doing your creative projects, I have a couple of classes already locked and loaded and ready to go. Uh, the biggest class I have ever is uh, the Creative Goal Journaling class. And that's really about setting your goals, um, tracking your goals, staying on track with your goals, what to do when you get off, uh, what to do when your goal changes, etc, etc, etc. It's a really hefty pick and mix class of a whole bunch of tips, tricks and techniques for creating your creative goals. Another if you're struggling with creative blocks is the Creative Resistance Remedy Workshop. That's going to help you uh, deal with the you know obstacles that you are dealing with right now um because people are asking me during this time i know that's also happening people are asking me uh, will you coach jenny belly during this time and i've got so much on guys i can't take on any more <laughs> so i'm sorry i can't coach you guys at the minute do creative coaching but those classes are there if you need that help much love everybody stay safe stay strong and journal that shit out <laughs> You hear me? Journal that shit out.